Hi everyone, alongside Mike Trosel, I'm Dave Giancola. Thanks for joining us as we celebrate another incredible decade of U.S. Opens. The year was 1990, and 45-year-old Hale Irwin became the oldest champion in U.S. Open history when he won at Medina to claim his third title. It was quite a way to kick off the decade. Yeah, Dave, we also saw two iconic shots that defined careers. Tom Kite's chip on the seventh hole at Pebble Beach in 1992, and Corey Pavin's clutch forward on the final hole at Shinnecock in 1995. And there were three two-time champions in this decade, the 1990s. Ernie Els in 94 and 97, Lee Jansen in 93 and 98, and who can forget, after Payne Stewart won in 1991, he followed it up with that unforgettable victory at Pinehurst number two. So let's go back to the 1990s. As we take a look now at Hale Irwin at 18. Right near the 175 yard mark to the hole. Well, it's to the right side. And it doesn't get over that hump in the middle of the green, so he's going to have a difficult putt. He'll take a two putt from where he's at. Now, just a moment ago at 18, this was Hale Irwin. This very long putt for Birdie over the hump. Putt's about 60 feet. Hale Irwin goes to eight under par. That's the fastest he's moved since he played football in Colorado. No such thing as a gimme in the U.S. Just far enough away. come to this. McDonald needs to make this par putt to win the 1990 United States Open Golf Championship. If he doesn't make bogey, we go to the 19th hole and then Side fading back. This hole playing straight downwind. Perfect tee shot. Long gonna leave Hale about a sandwich left under the first hole. Mike also with a beautiful looking tee shot starting down the left side. Not quite as long as Hale's, but perfect position. Right of the flag needs to take that big hop. Checked out. And didn't. It's a difficult putt from there. He's gone the other way. He's gone with it way up in the air. That ball's going to get all the way back to the flag with some spin on it. Leaves himself a perfect uphill putt from about eight feet. There were a lot of breaks in that. Not bad at all. Good touch. I mean, he couldn't afford to gun it, and he didn't want to hit too weak a putt because you got to make Hale make his.
40,000 fans in attendance appreciate what they've seen, two gallant sportsmen battling head-to-head -head for the most coveted title in the game. Scott Simpson and Payne Stewart. They started the day tied for the lead, and they're separated by only one stroke as they come to the green at the 72nd hole. But no, no, he'll have that three-footer left for a bogey, and Stewart with a five-footer to tie for the lead. Oh, boy, a smooth stroke under the toughest of conditions. Payne Stewart has made 12 straight pars in the cauldron of the fourth round of the U.S. Open. But now he must wait for Scott to decide his fate. Short, but not easy. A Simpson miss means a Stewart victory. But Scott runs in the three-footer for a bogey that leaves the two combatants right where they started the day. Tied for the lead in the U.S. Open at six under par. And now the rest of the field has departed, but Scott and Payne will have an 18-hole playoff on the newly heralded Hazeltine and its signature hole. Stewart has the honor and the momentum at 17. He likes that one. And well, he should. Safely on, and the pressure now shifts to Scott Simpson. No, you can see from Scott's reaction, it is hardly birdie time. He has found the water. A bogey would be a great score on this hole right now. Scott has a very difficult pitch over the water. Beautifully done, though. Could hardly have placed it on the green much better than that. Really a terrific recovery shot. And he has it, but he'll still trail by at least one stroke going to 18. Payne left his first putt short, now this for par. It's good, and we move to 18, where Payne Stewart has a one iron playing it safe off the tee. Safe? Well, hardly. That shot is not what he had in mind into the bunker. Can Scott take advantage of the opening? No, no. Nope. That is headed for the same bunker. Oh, but it came out of the bunker. That's a bad break coming into that heavy rough. Well struck. Not a bad shot at all. It's not on the putting surface, but that's sitting up in the second cut around the green. Payne has done his job. And it's on its way. A seven iron. Looks right on line. That's a good shot. Coming towards the hole, but took that big bounce and rolls all the way to the back fringe. Just couldn't spin it out of that heavy rock. Tough break. A good one, but not a gimme by anyone's standards. About four feet to the hole. That's a possible victory. Scott Simpson will have to chip this one. And he was playing to make it, not get it close, and he's rolled it a good eight to ten feet by the hole. Just slid off for the last few inches and Payne Stewart can breathe a little easier. Payne Stewart now four feet from his first U.S. Open title and two shots to get it in the hole. Played like a champion, one is all he will need. Payne Stewart's dream has come true. He's the 1991 U.S. Open champion. is Tom Kite at seven. He's pitching the ball back into the wind. It may help a little. Easy. Hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Oh! Good. 
Colin Montgomery watching on our monitor, sitting inside here at even par. to know what it feels like to be a U.S. Open champion, just try to put yourself inside Tom Kite's head and imagine what happens now is for you. like Tom Watson did 10 years ago, but that's good enough. Tom Kite, at last, at the age of 42, has won his first major championship, the U.S. Open. Suddenly, he's finding every fairway. It came at a perfect moment. We'll come back. Sudden death for a U.S. Open Championship continues. No, I didn't get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. And it did not get up. It's all over at eight. I thought that was it. Just the pace killed it, I fancy. For a US Open Championship. Yeah. Ronnie Els is the new champion. The two men who played together the final round at Augusta on Master Sunday do it here for 18 holes and then two of sudden death. Sums it up. Yeah, yeah. 
Beautifully struck there, right at the flag. Watch out for this one. This is a shot of his life. as he was preparing to put there he, he all those blinks that I think the emotion had caught him in this moment. A par for Pavin. He finishes at 68 today in position to win his first major championship. Break Norman would have to knock in this shot to tie Corey Pavin. How's it look, Roger? Mm -hmm. Oh, the wind's taking it left, going at the left side of the green, missing the green left, I believe. Corey Pavin, U.S. Open champion. <laughs> Thanks. Does that sound uh, good? Oh, that sounds so awesome, <laughs> I can't even tell you how good that sounds to me. One fifty nine front, one sixty eight hole. This is seven iron, just hit it hard. How's it look? He's got it started right in the hole, turning back. Johnny, this looks good. What a shot. Missed the flag stick by inches, and Steve Jones Ooh, in position for a championship. And now for the championship. Stephen Glenn Jones from Yuma, Colorado. They battled through 18. And on the toughest hole, Jones wins the title. How sweet it is. Oh, what a shot by Lehman. <laughs> Needless to say, best of the day. This for Birdie. Break to his left. He hit it. Did he hit it? Yes, sir, man. This man is cutting Jesse today. Colin Montgomery moves to three under. And one under for his round today. Not a hard little pitch shot at all. Makeable. Oh, my. Hells back into a share of the lead. Oh, that's a good looking shot there. Turning right to left, right at that hole. I tell you, we're seeing mm. some great shot making and some pressure conditions. Got it. And for the moment, Ernie Els has the lead at five under. Well, hit it up high. It's drawing at the hole. Oh, look at this. Gets it to release a little bit, and that's within a foot and a half of the flag stick. And safely in, and Tom Layman goes to four under par for the championship. Tied with Ernie Els and Colin Montgomery, and what a smile. Colin Montgomery tied with Els and Lehman. He's blocked it out, and this ball is not coming back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh. Got more of this wonderful rough to deal with. Well, it's a great looking golf shot here, turning right towards a flag. He knocked it stiff this morning on 17 and birdied it to complete round three.
He has the lead one hole away from a second U.S. Open championship. Got this ball drawn out. This is a great shot if it's the right distance. No. Ouch. Look at that moment for Tom Lehman. Perfectly played shot, starting out right center, turning back just a touch. Boy, he just couldn't place it out there in a better spot with a lead. That is a great shot. Drive, John. What's he got? Yeah, I'm sorry. 154 yards hitting a seven iron. The wind's kind of kicked back up into him. He's pulled that. Oh, what a nice bounce. Oh, that's wow. better than nice. That's out of the nice range there. That's a miracle oh. bounce. <laughs> Jansen just three behind Payne Stewart. Ever since his ball uh, from Rocky the Squirrel came down on five and he chipped it in, everything's been going. Correct for Lee Jansen. Three birdies in the last eight holes. He is squeezing in on Payne Stewart. That looks real good, fellas. A little right of the flag. Up high, real high shot. It'll take a hard bounce and feed. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. That is a wonderful shot by Lee Jansen. Momentum. Jansen has Payne Stewart in the crosshairs now within one. And he is trying to hold it against the wind. It's a little right of the hole. That was masterfully played. Slow. Oh, that was going to go low. Great putt. Had a lot of speed on that one, Roger. That's resolve right there, Johnny. Back at 16, huge putt now for Payne Stewart. Trying to remain at even par and tied for the lead. It's right at it, Johnny. Right at it. Let's see how good he interprets the yardage. That should spin back a little bit. Um, see if it comes back. And it's hanging up there today, so he's going to have the fastest putt of his life here. Jansen has made his statement. <laughs> he leads by one. Now it's up to Payne Stewart. This looks pretty good. If it'll spin back. See if it hangs up or comes back. Got an awful lot of fans pulling for it to come back. That putt left for a birdie that would tie Lee Jansen for the championship and force tomorrow an 18 hole playoff. I don't think he hit it. <laughs> what a feeling for the Jansons. <laughs> Lee Jansen is the 1998 U.S. Open champion. There's a bogey on the 16th hole last year at Olympic. Be the margin that Payne Stewart lost by. Oh, what a putt! He starts, shot starts just left of the hole, cutting just right of the hole. Oh, what a shot! Payne Stewart! And Phil Nicholson says, nice shot. Shot. Well, this is going right in the same line as Payne's. Oh, what a shot! You're kidding me. Pulled it again. It's flat. Pulled it. He has a tendency.
easy to hood it going back.